Hi, my name is Hannah. I'm coming to you from Off Grid in Northern Minnesota, and today I'm gonna show you the life cycle of a mushroom. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get a notification every time I upload. This is a mushroom. This is the stem, this is the cap, and these are the gills. Mushrooms produce and release spores from their gills. Each mushroom is capable of producing hundreds of thousands of spores. These are spores. Spores can be either male or female. If a spore lands where there is moisture and food, they begin to inoculate and the spores germinate one cell at a time. The thread-like filaments that grow from a single spore are called hyphae. At the point where the hyphae of a male spore and the hyphae of a female spore cross, they join forces and begin to create mycelium. As the mycelium breaks down organic matter and nutrients from its surroundings, it expands at a miraculous rate. As it consolidates, it starts to form what we call primordial knots, or primordia. From thousands of primordia, the growing organism selects the most promising few, channeling all of its energy and nutrients to start to develop a cap. At this point, it is called a pin, or a pinhead. As the stem and cap become distinct from each other and form their own shapes, we call this a button. The mushroom matures and creates thousands of spores, and finally, when the mushroom is ready, the cap extends and breaks the veil, releasing the spores, beginning the life cycle over again. This is just a small example of what the kingdom of fungi contains. Not all mushrooms grow from a stem and form a cap. There are shelf mushrooms that grow out rather than up. Some still have gills and others are what we call polypore. And then there are tooth fungi. Let's take a look at some examples that I have. In polypore mushrooms, instead of gills, they create many pores. This is where their spores release from. This is a polypore. Instead of gills, it has pores. Many little pores. In fact, if you can see these lines here, those are each a pore. With tooth fungi, they form dangling teeth to release their spores from. Mushrooms used to be in the same kingdom as plants because they grow out of the soil and have rigid cell walls. Now, mushrooms, yeasts, and molds have been placed in their own kingdom with equal rank as the animals and plants, and in fact are more closely related to animals than to plants. There are new fungi that are being discovered even today, and even though we share 50% DNA with mushrooms, we are only just starting to learn about mushrooms and their abilities. This is the kingdom of fungi and there are about 148,000 species known to us, leaving 1.5 million to 5 million species undiscovered. 1.5 million to 5 million species undiscovered. I'd like to thank you for watching. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was recording the whole time, right?